Hello, so today I am going to report about Stenberg's successful intelligence theory and WICS model. So who is Robert Stenberg? He is an American psychologist and psychometrician, born in New Jersey on December 9, 1949. And after suffering from the test anxiety and doing poorly on an exam, he realized then that the test was not an accurate measure of his actual knowledge and abilities. This is Robert J. Stenberg. These are his major contributions. Theorchic theory of human intelligence, several influential theories related to creativity, wisdom, thinking styles, love and hate, author of over 1,000 books, book chapters, and articles. Successful intelligence theory has four skills. First is the memory skills. It helps us to recall the facts and pieces of information. It also helps us to retain the knowledge we acquire. The second one is the analytical skills. It is going to determine if a certain idea is good. Next, we have creative skills. It is going to come up with new idea to answer a need or solve a problem. See in the picture, the child is trying to solve a problem or trying to organize the blocks. The last one is the practical skills. It is going to apply what one has learned. It is also the ability to succeed at life given one's own goal within one's environmental context. Some of the examples are the students are exploring the nature, doing some experiments about the nature. So what is the WICS model? It stands for Wisdom, Intelligence, Creativity, and Synthesized. In teaching analytically, make your students to use their critical thinking. You have to design a task and activities to provide opportunity for your learners to teach analytically. So these are, you have to let them analyze, critic, charge, compare and contrast, evaluate, and assess. So here are some examples of analytically intelligence. A. Analyze the development of the character of Ibarra in Olimi Tangere, we have B. Critic, the design and features of the latest smartphone. And we have C. Assess, the strategy of Manila city government to improve the traffic situation around the city. In teaching creatively, remember to be an example to them by taking the rest to share your own creative ideas. Think out of the box. Design a task and activities that help students to create, invent, discover, imagine it, suppose it, and predict. Here are some examples for creative thinking. So we have a imagine if it's a revolution did not happen during 1986. What do you think our country will be like at the present and 10 years later? And we have B predict changes that will happen if 
humans had a third eye at the back of their head. In teaching practically, have in mind real life situations where students can use what they learn to meet their own and also others practical needs. Design a task and activities that allow your students to apply, use, put into practice, implement, employ, render practical on what they know. So we have here examples for practical intelligence. We have A. Use the knowledge of Excel to keep track of daily household expenses. So we learn in our, in our computer education and also mathematics. And we have put into practice what you have learned from teamwork in football, in making a classroom team project succeed in athletics. In teaching wisdom, it is developing your learners to consistently act based on positive ethical values. You teach for wisdom when you are able to move your students. So try to find a common good. See things from others' points of view and balance your own interests with those of others and of institutions. Teaching wisdom, you have also to look at the long term as well as the short term. Reflect about how one can base his every decision on positive ethical values and appreciate that in life what is seen as true and effective may vary over time and place. So here are some examples for wisdom. A. What might be a solution for the common good in the Philippines and China claim on Spratly Islands? So this is in our policy subject. And B. Should parents expect their children to take care of them when they are old? And why? So in here, we have the education of pagkatao. So we have here a very nice slogan. Your role as a teacher is not to educate the mind alone, but to educate the soul as well. So let's do some exercises to practice the different skills. Tell me what word can you create using the pictures. So we have here the arrow and the word eight. The answer is first eight. First eight. So next we have some little area here and the word V-A-D-E-R-S. The answer is space invaders. Space invaders. Next activity, we have the word travel and the word C, 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 C. Can you think of a word regarding this? The answer is travel overseas. Travel overseas. We have here activity three, the M, O, and ones, and on. So can you think of any word connects to this?
So the answer is once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. Activity four. We have number one, blank. Number two, blame. Number three, blame. The answer is no one to blame. No one to blame. And the last one. So we have here the word is S T A number four and C E. So can you guess what word is it? And the answer is for instance. For instance. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you learned something from my report.